Visual effects peeps, um, it's Jack here from Visual Effects Hut again, and we've done a few VDB volume um, rendering tricks, but none of them have ever looked fairly realistic. So we're gonna get some flames in today and try and make them look more like flames than just a block of orange. After this as well, we'll be re-rendering some of them on our website. So um, without further ado, let's jump in. So objects, redshift volume, We'll find a campfire. We'll set the animation. And then we'll get, uh, we'll use IPPR again. I don't actually like using this, but I use it for tutorials because it's easier than navigating around windows. And so we've got our volume in. So we want to create a redshift material now, a volume material, we'll drop that on that volume. Then we want to look at inside our shader. Let's podge that over so we can see. Um, in channel, we'll go for redshift density and in the emission channel, we'll go for redshift flames. So we've got a fire there. I mean, what we've been learning about these volume files, especially in GPU renderers as well, is it's just about playing. It never looks great out of the box, so you just have to keep playing with it. Um, so, what we did before is we just showed you pretty much picking your orange fire colour. And then you end up with something like that, which is pretty cool. But then when you're trying to look for photorealism, you want to try and shave some of this smoke that's come in the simulation as well, if it's just flames that we want to be getting. So first off, we're going to want a bit more detail. So we'll pull this down to probably about six. And then where the magic really happens is this. So if we pull this, we're going to be able to crop and get some of that harsh sharpness from our fire by playing with this ramp. But not too much. This one's quite a simple fire. Then it's about jumping in even further and picking some more fire related colours to make it look less like an orange blob. So we'll start with a pale yellow. This, if you spend more time on this, then obviously you'll get something that looks great. So the longer you're willing to spend in getting these colours right, the better for your renders. Let's change that back to white because we're going to use this now. So we've got more control over the colour and the gradient across the flames volume. So you can see by tweaking, we're getting little subtle changes which we're going to be able to have more control of. And also try not to get super crazy. Three or four colours is perfectly enough. All volumes will be different. Some will mean that black needs to be clipped here if you've got really sharp flames. This one's kind of a, it's more like a smoky fire, I guess, being on wood. Um, but let's do it with another fire as well. So one that's got a bit more sharpness to it. So let's detect the animation. Oh. 
Oh, already looks awesome. I mean, it's got the same shader on, obviously. But, um, yeah, so it's just a bit of playing again, I guess. So um, just jump in our shader. What's not working for us? It's a bit hot here, and some of that red's a bit fake. probably get rid of that colour. This with really dense volumes as well, this is quite nice. Pulling this up gives that nice almost translucent vibe to the bottom of the fire, which means you probably need to implement that at the top somewhere as well. So it's obviously looking a bit too yellow. If we change that to a bit more orange. Matching your scene and camera as well, because you could probably f use this, but then pull the highlights and the exposure and HDR map. It depends on your scene as well, obviously. So but we'll go for something like this. So that looks pretty cool. So we've got this which is looking great. If you wanted it to be more like less translucent at that bottom then you can do things like that. But again it's more about this black front end because you can see that it's hitting the top and we don't want that so want it to be nice and crispy. This fire was really high res and it was designed to be really close to the camera so that's kind of why it's a bit harsher on the top. This is a good cheating way to retain a bit more detail as well, pulling from here. Hopefully you found it useful and also don't forget where this volume's from and if you want to get some of these then you can just head to subs.visualeffects.com and there's plenty of these on there. You can also visit just the legacy shop as well, visualeffects.com to just get just the individual ones. So if you only want to buy one or two, you don't have to sign up.